friends! Thanks for joining me again to look through another bag of thrift store finds. And listen, I know that the nation is a hot mess right now. I'm not trying to distract you from the work at hand, but I am trying to give you maybe a little space to relax for a minute, watch a dumb video, and then get back out there and get to work. I also want to remind everyone to register to vote. Midterm elections are coming in November, and it's very important that you vote. Um, if you already are registered to vote, take a look and see if you can vote early. Make your voting plan now. These things are very important and will help us all. Okay, so let's see what I've got in my bag of thrift store finds. Most of the stuff that I get comes from the bins. This is the Goodwill Outlets. If you don't know what that is, you can take a look at my first video where I kind of go over exactly what that is. Um, so here's my first find. Ready? It's Ace! Um, I saw this in the bin of plush toys and I was like, is that Ace Free? Yep. Yep, that's Ace Freely from Kiss. And he's, <laughs> he's got amazing details. He has this amazing felt tongue, as you would assume he would have. Um, so I'm pretty excited to look him up and get some information on him. He is marked KISS 2014 from Toy Factory. So, he's pretty great. Okay, let's do this next. This is a vintage diary. Can you even stand how mealy mealy mow this is? Look at that unicorn. Some kind of a uh, unicorn and pegasus. Unisus? Pegacorn? Hard to say. It has blue pages with dates. And it's from Weekly Reader, guys. Blast from the past. Never used. Super beautiful diary. No locking mechanism, so, you know. Be careful what you put in said diary. Okay. Peppermint Rose Valentine's. Now, Peppermint Rose was like a real blip on the screen. Didn't last for very long, but there's a weird amount of products that go with this doll line that was around for such a short amount of time. This is 1993, those characters from Cleveland, and you can see the other designs. Super cute stuff. Really cute design. Um, and they've never been opened. <laughs> Look how cute this is! Look at these little mice in their little house. It's a little plaque. It has a spot to hang it up. And it's just too adorable. This is this is how my husband lives. I am super short, so um, we have stools all around the house. Sometimes I need a boost. Um, I'm good at climbing on counters and stuff, just because you get used to that after being super short your whole life. Look at how cute that is. Oh, that's a good one. Tiny animals, always fun. Ooh, speaking of tiny. Speaking of tiny. Look at these. Teeny tiny little golden books. I remember having the large one of that. And this one, Little Red Riding Hood. Tootle, which is about a train, apparently. Little Golden Book Land. That's very specific. How fun are those? And and they are actual books. They have, you know, words and pictures and everything, just like the full-size books do. What a fun thing. Who doesn't love miniature? Everyone loves miniature. That is just a fact of life. Everyone loves a tiny thing. Which, case in point mini brands. This is Heinz 57 sauce. Mm. 
mini brands. Very fun, very cool. There are a bunch of things that are like that. Um, oh, look, I have another one. What is it? <laughs> I actually love these in real life. Nut Thins, they are crackers made of almonds, and they are delicious. If you need gluten-free or um, do not have an allergy to nuts, I suggest that you try these in real life. They're very delicious. They're made by Blue Diamond. How cute. Okay, next thing is a trick-or-treat pail. This guy um, has some marker on the bottom with somebody's name, Bram, apparently, and it's 1997. That was the year I graduated high school. And that's all we're going to say about that. Inside the bucket, I have lots of fun stuff. This is an angel tree ornament. Things that look, you know, Baroque or Victorian-ish. Um, anything like that. People have themed Christmas trees to that. Um, so they usually do pretty well. I'll probably wait till I have a couple of those and put them together. Oh, guys, everything is... Everything's all stuck together. Okay. This is a pin, a Christmas pin. It has rhinestones. All the rhinestones are present. It's very pretty. Like I said, I usually don't find very much jewelry at the bins. When I do, I make sure to nab it. This is very 90s. This is a hair clip, one of those kinds. Very, very 1990s to me. That's how we were all wearing our hair. A lot of clips in the 90s. Um, this is a doll that is made of like a bendable string and wood. Um, and I have sold a bunch of sets of these. These dolls sell very quickly. I'm not exactly sure why. I don't actually think they're that cute, but maybe they're good for little kids who, you know, can't have a dollhouse doll that is like a little more fragile. Not sure what the thinking is there, but they do sell well, FYI. This is a butterfly ornament. It is kind of cloisonne. And it's got these crazy antenna. Just fun. I always, I don't have a problem picking up single ornaments. Okay. This is something that I pick up regularly. Um, and it is hardware, drawer hardware. So drawer pulls, um, knobs, that kind of thing. These, I believe, are vintage, which is why I picked them up. And I have a bunch of them in here, six or eight, it looks like. Um, normally, they don't even come with the screws, um, but you can sell them. Anyway, just say they don't come with the screw screws, and then the person can take them to the hardware store and find screws that fit. Um, but so pretty. And they make a really fun and easy DIY and they are very expensive to buy in the hardware store so if you're giving people a little bit of a deal or if you're selling something that they can't readily find at the hardware store to match um, an antique or vintage piece that they already have you know that's a really good thing this looks like a smurf but isn't this is a clown around figure I think they were out about the same time in the 80s All right, let me see if I can, this is going to be loud. This is, oh, filthy, first of all. I am covered in crap now. Um, this is a shell plant hanger. So the plant goes in here, and it has a tassel here. It has a loop up here. And then it's just all actual real shells. Very beach house decor, very boho chic. 
And then the other couple things um, are a tiny little deer. He has a chip out of his ear, but I don't know. You know what? Sometimes things are just adorable and you can't leave them. I'm not going to fault myself for that. You got to get your kicks where you can right now, okay, people? And if bringing home a halfway broken tiny deer does it for you, go. Do. Okay, so this thing that I got, I was one of those silent screams of delight. Um, but I, I still wear a mask at the bins um, because it actually really helps my allergies there. Everything at the bins is covered in pet hair and glitter and dust. And um, I find that wearing a mask at the bins still really helps me. So I probably will just continue to do that. Um, and it, you don't have to have so much of a poker face. Also, people ch tend to talk to you less if you're mostly covered up, um, which, you know, my personality enjoys. Um, but I found this and was so excited right away because this will be a keeper for me. This is a vintage pillbox. I think it's a pillbox. Either that it was or it was originally meant for makeup. But I imagine this was a pillbox. Um, someone tried to sell it for $3. That would be a, a fantastic price for this. Although the pennies that I paid at the bins is even better. But one of the greatest things about this is that I have a matching vintage compact already. <laughs> now I have a little set. How cute is that? And oh, guys, glitter. We just talk about how happy that makes us just to look at glitter like this for a minute. Glitter. Amazing. Love it. Happiness. Happiness. Look at who this is. Everybody recognizes this little guy. Little foot. A little foot plush. Now, the Land Before Time series has been going since the 80s. I don't actually think they've stopped. I think they're still producing movies. They've got to be on, like, Land of Time 176 by now. Um, but they're still producing stuff. So um, I'll have to research and see how old this one is. I doubt that it's from the 80s. I think that it's much more recent than that. But everybody loves Littlefoot. Okay, there's one last thing in the bag here. It's another bag. A bag of bears. These are ornaments, I think. Yeah, these are ornaments. And the bears are all dressed and everything has like a lot of detail. The bear is jointed and look, he's got little beads for buttons. He's got two different types of trim on his outfit and a bow. And it's all sewn. Like, he is wearing a pair of pants. He is wearing a shirt here. Um, they are not by any particularly great brand, I don't think. Wow, that's a big tag. Yeah, I don't even see any branding on this. Um, but this one is a firefighter. And this one... I think this one is a police bear. He has like patches. <laughs> oh, maybe he's been defunded. And there's a guy with a top hat who is actually a little bit different because he's more like velvety. He's really fancy. And then there is a bear who's ready for winter slash Christmas. And there are two of these, and there are two of these. But I just thought, my goodness, those are like super detailed, and I'll probably just lot them together and sell them as a set if somebody wants to make their whole Christmas tree. You know, little bears. No judgment. Very cute. Okay, you guys, that is another video. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I wanted to remind you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot. Um, this stuff probably won't be in my shops for like about a month, uh, three weeks maybe. Um, if you see anything that you can't live without, please just contact me on Instagram. I will leave 
some helpful links for you down below in the description box. And I will also um, link some items that are similar to the items that you see here um, in case you're looking for something like this. Okay, thank you so much. We'll see you again next time. And I invite you to go out and find treasure.